Well, first of all, I, would, I was wondering, what is your favorite UB40 song? Oh, God. Um, hmm. I love all of them, yeah, so you know. I, I mean, it was, uh, to be honest, when I did that um, recording with Ali Campbell, yeah. it was absolutely amazing. I never, never really expected to do like a reggae track. So um, I had this one track that I did on my own record called yeah. Ghost Town, which was reggae. And then A, I never thought I'd do my own reggae track. So then to go and work with an artist who's just amazing at it was just a brilliant experience. Because. Well, he wrote the song himself, I think. He did, yeah. yeah, he did. Um, Don't Try This At Home, yeah. that was the name of it. Okay, and um, so what's for you different than, well, songwriting your own material and then working on a reggae track? I think it's on a third. What's the difference yeah. between... Yeah, for you, for you. Was it, was it hard to, 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 to do reggae on your own album, a song, a reggae song? Well, it wasn't actually. I think the essence of reggae is kind of the groove and just to sort of feel it and essentially it's a very chilled out thing so you can't kind of think about it too much or concentrate on it too yeah. much you, it just kind of has to happen it's very effortless well it has to sound effortless so um, I just I just kind of thought you know just sing it really don't think about it too much I think also because you know I wrote the song it wasn't there wasn't the pressure of it's already been done by like a real reggae artist, you know. So the song essentially is ultimately another song that I've written. It just happens to be in the genre of reggae. But was it so when you wrote it? Was it already a reggae song, and did you, or did you well no, put it into a reggae song? No, it was well. When Mike had the lyrics to Ghost Town for quite some time, he was, you know, playing around with the music, and he just wasn't. He wasn't liking what he was doing and, and so kind of asked me to, you know, step in and maybe look at music and I think it was the style that he was doing that didn't feel quite right to him. Um, and I was, I don't know, I was just looking at the lyrics and I started playing the guitar and what I played was a reggae okay. feel. So it kind of just happened. And the great thing about making this third album is that because we'd, you know, done the first two, there wasn't a kind of... I suppose expectation to fit into a certain genre, so we never had any doubts about doing a track just that happened to be reggae. That was your, it is your last album with Mike. Um, is it for you, or was it maybe the next way to go, just to broaden your horizon now music-wise, do you think? It's just something that was always going to happen. Um, you know, Mike's my manager and I'm also on his label, so you know, we're not stopping that. Mm -hmm. We're still very good friends, obviously. Um, just creatively, we've you know made albums together. You know, I've never really made a solo album, um, and I don't know. There was always going to be a point where I'd have to go and define my own sort of um, identity as a musician. And you know, I can't always rely on his writing. So um, you know, this this feels like the right time to do it. Is it for you? Have you have you found your your? musical identity yet or are you I'm still, still searching? I'm still at the beginning, okay. I'm still searching and, and that's the purpose of this next step in my life I suppose.